and a reed, like a staff, was given to me, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar, and those who worship in it, and exclude the outer courtyard of the temple, and do not measure it. For it was given to the nations, and they will trample upon the holy city for forty-two months. By this reed is shown that all things manifested in heaven and the things inanimate to us are spiritual, just as also the altar, the throne, and some others. How did the reed which was given to him say, Rise and measure the temple of God? By this it is shown that temple of God is measured with angelic intelligence. If anyone says that he received the reed from the same angel, and that he heard from him the rise and measure this temple, then we say that the reed signifies the measure of the knowledge which is proportionate to the one receiving it, of which those are deemed worthy who are known by God and the divine angels through their good deeds. For the Lord knows his own, says the divine word. One must know nonetheless that some understood the temple of God to mean the Old Testament, and the outside yard, which is not measured, to be the new, on account of the innumerable number of those saved in it. Of forty-two months they took to mean the shortness of time during which the sacraments of the New Testament are to prevail until the second coming of Christ arrives. But we think that the temple of the living God refers to the church, in which we offer rational sacrifices to God. The outside court is the gathering place of the unbelieving nations and of the Jews since the unworthiness is measured by the angel through the impiety. For the Lord knows his own, as it has been said. It is said that he who is all knowing does not know the unlawful. The trampling of the holy city is either the new Jerusalem or the universal church, and the forty-two months by the nations I think means that the faithful and the ones being tested will be trampled upon and persecuted in the three and a half year appearance of the Antichrist. And the beast was given a mouth uttering loud and blasphemous words, and it was allowed to exercise authority for forty-two months, and it opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God to blaspheme his name and his dwelling and those who dwell in heaven. According to divine allowance, it says, For three and a half years he will have license both for blasphemy against God and the ill-treatment of the saints, the dwelling of God and the dwelling of the logos in the flesh, that is to say, the incarnation, and the repose in the saints against which he will certainly direct every blasphemy, and also against the holy angels, 